Hey y'all, Grand Rising. We're gonna see what does the collective need to receive today. All right, Holy Spirit. What does the collective need to receive? Okay, so we have here the number 36 could be significant. You could be 36 years old. Um, we have, what's that, nine? You could be born on the ninth month on the, on the ninth day. It says here, <clears throat> it says here, blend into the environment. You have many skills and can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what is going on around you and adapt accordingly, Okay. What do we have here? We have uh, the number 44. And it says here, unexplained wonder. Magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. All your prayers are answered now, okay? So you have many skills. You can fit into any situation. Take time to assess what's going on and adapt accordingly, all right? So Spirit is telling you, you know, like right now, it says unexplained, you know, like unexplained blessings. Things are starting to align for you. And Spirit is telling you to adapt to these changes accordingly, okay? Like, trust the process because these changes are really going to bring in everything that you've been waiting for, all right? Everything that you've been praying for because it says your prayers are answered, all right? This could be after after you let somebody go, okay? Uh, 18 could be significant. That's 9. 9 is basically, you know, getting close to closing out a cycle with the 10. You could be seeing 10, 10, all right? So you let something go, okay? Yeah, you trust yourself, you trusted your intuition, and you release this energy. Somebody could be 31 years old, okay? And now Spirit is telling you that there's, you know, there's something coming in for you, okay? So they want you to adapt to the situation, to whatever changes is happening. I know that you can fit into any situation because you, basically, you could survive. And whatever, whatever's happening right now with this card, you have many skills and you can fit into any situation. You are adaptable, you know? Like, you, you probably already have gone through this where you you have to adapt to a situation you have to move you have to escape you know like whatever as a new job you know like this is nothing new to you right so spirit is just giving you a heads up letting you know that this is something that whatever it is it's going to be for your highest good all right because you let go of something that didn't uh didn't align all right now you're making room for it tell me more holy spirit and that 44 if you've seen 444 that's talking about protection you know, your spirit team is always around you. God is always protecting you. All right. And now you are manifesting magical blessings and miracles. Tell me more. It says here, how's that for a happily ever after? Well, damn. <laughs> you see the way, like, you know, it's like, I just said, you're manifesting all these things. And then spirit's like, yeah, so how's that for a happily ever after? Yeah. You know? <laughs> You are the phoenix, you know, you're, you're rising from the ashes. You know what I'm saying? And again, the number nine, like I said, you are getting close to closing out this cycle. All right. And now you are manifesting all these good things. Let's see. Bottom of the deck. Again, 18, y'all. Listen, you could be seeing 18, 18 too. All right. That's the an angel number that I was seeing a lot when I was going through changes as well, coming from New York and moving over here. Like I kept seeing 18, 18. All right, so we have here, you are entering a transitional phase and would benefit from clearing away any excess clutter, whether it is in your physical body or your physical space. That's what you did. You you released any clutter, you know, anything that was extra, anything that was not in alignment, you cut it off, all right? You let it go. That's what I was getting with this card, okay? So because you did that, you're making space now for the good things to come in, all right? So 999 is another number you could be seeing as well, letting you know that things are definitely completing, all right? Karmic cycle is over, okay? Again, we got 10 here, and it says every step counts. There is an advantage in taking things slowly. Breathe deeply and fully as you consider your options, all right? I feel like Spirit is definitely saying every step counts. Everything that you did up until this point, it got you to here, okay? So it counted, you know? You pulling your energy back, you, you know, trusting yourself, realizing that this is something that you needed to let go of, all right? Everything added up to here, okay? We have safe and surrounded by love. So again, more confirmation that you are protected. Uh, 17 or 8 could be significant. Uh, it says here, keep your heart open and know that you are being protected. Look at that. Listen 
to what you know to be true. Again, trusting yourself. That's what we picked up on earlier. And allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. So you see this theme about what's going on around you and you taking the time. Again, this one this one said the same thing. Take the time to assess what's going on around you. Like, I feel like you are right now doing that. You know, you are like awakening. You're seeing things clearly. You're, you're checking out your surroundings. Not in, in more like a physical energy, but it's like a spiritual energy. You know, like you're starting now to, to see beyond the veil. You see clearly, you know, like you can see who's an energy vampire, who's toxic, who's, you know, like you see these things and you, and who was attacking you with that phoenix rising from the ashes. You know, like you see clearly now. So because you're doing that, you are now trusting yourself. You are trusting your intuition and you are acting on those those you know intuitive nudges or those things that you are picking up on all right and again because you did that now look at look what you're manifesting all right so let's pull some cards from here and see what we got let's see all right holy spirit oh i just look i just say you awakening look <laughs> you are awakening and look this is a whole nother deck and we got a lot of a lot of dolphins, all right? Dolphins right here too. Uh, you could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is Yamaya, okay? Shout out to her, Mother Water, all right? You could be, I don't know, maybe I was drawn to, to pull from this deck because, you know, maybe something about water because, look, this is all, like, in the water. <laughs> maybe somebody needs to spend time in, in nature. Yeah, it's up to you. Do you want to go outside and spend some time in nature? Go ahead and do that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, go cleanse, all right? That's a, that's part of cleansing. Uh, again, you are releasing everything that doesn't that doesn't align with you, so now you got to cleanse, okay? Go spend time by the water. Go spend time in nature, you know, like, get out, okay? All right, let's see. Whoa. All right, let's see what's this. We have here, go for it. And we have success. So yeah, I remember saying, whatever it is that you try to do, yeah, because you change your mind from this situation, you change your mind, you decided not to uh, align with that. So things are going to be uh, a success. And with this infinite card, this is telling me that it's like infinite blessings. Again, the first card that we got, it says magical blessings and miracles are occurring in your life. So now you have infinite blessings and opportunities and good things that are coming into your life tell me more i'm telling you it's like when you release what doesn't serve you so many things start to happen y'all telling you shit is crazy all right that's why spirit makes me get on here every day to release you know to talk about releasing shit look this is you right now well damn look at that thinking on your feet <laughs> okay that's what you're doing you see how that was unexpected i feel like that's what you did you know like it was something that was, it was unexpected but you was thinking on your feet and you bust a move all right yeah look it was unexpected and you bust a move you judgment you call it judgment that's a rat all right, you could be dealing with, you know, this this karmic, you found out that it was a rat, <laughs> all right, like there was a rat, there was a snake, there was no good, something with the sun, you know, things came to light, all right, somebody could be 20 or 27 years old, but basically, you found something out, and you just let it go, like again, you bust the move, you released it, and now you are right here, grounded, you know, now you are in this energy of manifesting, of healing, all right, we have here loosen your grip that's what you did you loosen your grip it says here let god in you let god in all right uh for some of y'all this card says addiction for some of y'all it could be addictions it could whatever it is you let it go as you should and it's bringing in blessings now with personal growth it says as i move towards greater consciousness didn't i say you are awakening y'all like look at all these signs this is a whole nother deck right here all right and it's saying the same thing as i move towards greater consciousness I feel old thoughts and habits fall away, all right? So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You're releasing not only physical things, spiritual things, old thoughts, habits, people, okay? It says here, like training wheels on a bike, they help me to get to where I am, yo, definitely, definitely. That's what these karmics are for. If you look at things from a higher perspective, you realize that they just needed to, to happen. These things needed to happen. These people needed to be in your life for a reason, all right? To help you to get to where you are now, where you are manifesting all these beautiful things. You see what I'm saying? Like you, but you gotta, it's a test. You gotta let go though. You know what I'm saying? So yes, good job. Okay. <laughs> so then it says here, uh, but now that I can ride, I don't need those slow and crummy wheels. <laughs> All right. So yeah, basically, um, you don't need those wheels anymore. You don't need those training wheels anymore. You know, you passed the test y'all like, okay, congratulations. 
All right, you realize your worth. You realize that you deserve better. That's the whole test that you needed to experience. And for some of y'all, this test was a couple years long. <laughs> you know, like it was a karmic cycle, but you did it. Okay. All right. So let's see. Let's see anything from this pile of cards. Got a bunch of little cards in here. Let me get these out. All right. Anything else? Holy. Look, miracles, confirmation. That's exactly what you are manifesting okay like i said right here magical blessings and miracles right there okay all right let's see tell me more okay we have here pope joan somebody could be named joan and it says um the pointed of possibility so again multiple possibilities right i said infinite right right here infinite possibilities right it says the possibilities are limitless because the soul is limitless you see what i'm saying you're about to manifest so many things all right you need to stay positive and trust that this is exactly what's happening okay let's see what else tell me more Wow, you cannot make this up, yo. You are manifesting a brand new life. This is definitely something you need to be celebrating. Go go out and, and, and you know, have some fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because you, you did it. You did the work. All right, let's see what's this. Don't take it personally, it says, all right? If someone starts to speak unkindly to me, I'll remember that they got something going on that has nothing to do with me. Like, maybe they just pooped in their pants, all right? <laughs> Basically, you know, it's the saying that you're not taking these things personally, you know? Like, Spirit doesn't want you to start, you know, feeling down or anything like that and feeling, you know, some type of way because of everything that you went through, you know? Like, you have to understand or you are understanding now, again, looking at things from a higher perspective, that this was all for your personal growth, all right? So don't take it personal, all right? Even though it is very personal, but don't take it personal like that, all right? Because again, this got you to where you needed to be, all right? Even though, you know, there was pain involved, sometimes we need to learn through pain, all right? Sometimes we need to learn through tears and stress and, you know, all of that because it's, it's, it's training, okay? We're here to be trained right now, all right? Yeah, I just saw alchemy. So yeah, alchemy, you got to learn also part of this training is how to alchemize, you know, those emotions and turn it into something good, okay? So we have here, yeah, look, cleansing. Alchemize those emotions. Cleanse that shit out, all right? And this is, again, clo uh, connecting to you not taking it personal, you know? Like, you know, just cleansing the situation out of your life, okay? Let's see what else. It says here, talk less and feel more. So, again, somebody needs to go out of nature, go be by the water, don't talk about it. Just, you know, like it says here, feel more. Like I said, somebody could be a water sign. We got Pisces energy here. All right. So this is what spirit wants you to do. Cleanse. Don't take it personal. Don't be crying. Don't be stressed or nothing. Just be like, okay, thank you, God, for the lesson. Thank you for the experience. I'm so grateful for this experience. I'm so grateful that I went through all of this shit because now I'm here where I am in the higher vibration. I am healed. And now I know better and I'm doing better and I am manifesting my best life. That's it. I went through all of that too. And that's exactly what I be telling Spirit. I be like, yo, thank you for the blessing. Thank you for the lesson. Thank you for everything, y'all. Like, I'm grateful. All right? So look, yo, that is wild. Didn't I say somebody had an addiction? It says, whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives, all right? This addiction could be overthinking, thinking negatively, overworking, like I said, substances, food, people, sex, whatever it is, you are absolutely taking control of your life now and you are replacing this addiction with something healthier, okay? Healthier connections, healthier people, healthier everything. And it says here, fire guardian, ignite your passions. That's what you're doing. You are igniting your passion. You are having this new life. And you're going to be excited about it, okay? You're not going to be sad, stressed, impressed. No, you're happy, you're excited, and you're ready to get this shit popping, okay? All right, y'all. So that's what I got. Hope I was able to help. Peace.